गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम चेतन धजेजा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट एस एम सी कॉलेज ऑफ डेली साइंस एंड वन ऑफ द कंटेंट राइटर्स फॉर पेपर ट्वेल्व मॉड्यूल ट्वेंटी वन पैकेजिंग ऑफ ब्यूटेजिस इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल सी द पैकेजिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट ब्यूटेजिस सच एज वॉटर टी कॉफी एंड अदर फ्रूट जूसिस कार्बोनेटेड सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक्स बियर वाइन एट्सेट्रा the packaging requirements and uh, the packaging materials used for this for the packaging of this products friends as you all know that beverages are an important part of the diet of humans and have been since ancient times but the range and sophistication of beverages has increased dramatically in this century much of this growth can be attributed to the developments in packaging which have made it possible for a large national and international trade in beverages to flourish today a wide variety of liquid products are consumed and the full range of packaging media are used to bring this beverages to the doorstep of consumers in this module we will discuss about packaging aspects of major categories of beverages now looking to the packaging of water glass bottles are still the container of choice but majority of water today is packaged in plastic containers with five principal resin alternatives mainly hdp polypropylene polyvinyl chloride polycarbonate and polyethylene triphthalate antioxidants additives are used as processing aids in the plastic resins and it is important that they do not migrate into the water and cause undesirable odors and taste pvc is generally regarded as the most suitable polymer for packaging of water a pvc bottle is a crystal clear with a high gloss surface finish as well it provides relatively high oxygen barrier which assist the retention of dissolved oxygen found in many bottled water and thus allowing for a more consistent taste and longer shelf life however the recent uh, public health concerns and yodop over the use of pvc as a packaging material are leading to the use of alternative resins which is mainly pet bottles if we see the packaging of coffee for the packaging of roasted whole beans depending on the shelf life required the choice of packaging material has to be considered in regard to moisture vapor permeability oxygen permeability carbon dioxide permeability and other volatile component permeability and grease resistance if oily and dark roasted beans are being packaged for the roasted and ground coffee the oldest type of commercial packaging material is metal can or we can say vacuum packed tin plate can such can provides impermeability to moisture vapor gas and other volatile components after filling a high vacuum of around uh, 700 mm of mercury is pulled on the can to give an oxygen content less than 1% after sealing carbon dioxide gas evolution will release the vacuum until atmospheric pressure is restored then a safe retentive packages of flexible laminated materials shaped into bags are also widely used nowadays a typical early construction was 12 mm pet 12 mm aluminum foil and 70 mm ldp laminate while the recent structures would be metallized pet and laminated to ldp a more durable foil ply structure which utilizes by axially oriented polypropylene in addition to pet aluminum foil 
and LDP is also common. Instant coffee if you see then it is packaged in either the tin plate cans or glass jars. A wax paper uh, the metal foil diagram sealed to the rim of the container provided an effective barrier to moisture, vapor and oxygen over which was placed a tight fitting metal lid in case of tin plate containers and a screw cap of plastic or metal in play in case of glass jars. Recently, refill packs of instant coffee packaged in flexible laminates of PET, aluminum foil, LDPE or metallized PET and LDPE is also available in the market. Now, packaging of tea. Loose tea is packaged in a multitude of different shapes, size and types of materials. The most common being a paperboard carton with either an aluminum foil liner or an overwrap of polypropylene. Metal containers with snap on lids are also used for some premium products. Tea bags have now become the most popular form of retail packaging and considerable development has gone into improving the tissue paper used for this type of package. Porous wet strength paper is also required. Once filled the tea bags must be placed inside a package which provides an adequate barrier to moisture vapor and paperboard cartons overwrapped with PP are also most common. So, we have seen the packaging of uh, water, tea and coffee by now and now in the coming slides we will uh, see the packaging of fluid products such as fruit juices, carbonated soft drinks, then uh, beer, wine etcetera. In these products the glass, metal and uh, plastic bottles are the um, common packaging material, but still there is minor, minor uh, differences between them and their uh, requirement which we will see in the coming slides. The storage stability of green tea is the lowest among various teas including black tea, olong tea and pouchong tea. To most effectively protect the quality of green tea during storage, it is necessary to use nitrogen gas flushing or vacuum packaging. Uh, fruit juices, the traditional packaging procedure for fruit juices involved heating the deaerated juice to around 90 to 95 degrees Celsius, filling the hot juice directly into metal cans sealing them and inverting the cans and holding them for 20 to 20, 20 minutes and then cooling. This hot fill hold cool process ensured that the juice was commercially sterile and provided that the seams were of good quality. The cans had an acid resistant lacquer and the juice had been properly dehydrated. A shelf life of at least 12 months was attainable. However, because of the acidic nature of the fruit juices, any imperfections or scratches in the can coating or the tin lacquer resulted in rapid corrosion and dissolution of matter into the juice and production of hydrogen gas and contain a failure due to swelling. The use of glass containers obviated this problems. Care should be taken with glass bottles during wood filling to avoid breakage of glass. However, our recent years an increasing proportion of fruit juices and concentrates have been packaged aseptically and generally into laminates of plastic film, aluminum foil and paperboard. These products 
are then held at room temperature and the shelf life and nutrient composition are greatly influenced by the beige properties of the carton. The interaction of the juice with the carton and the storage environment. For the packaging of carbonated soft drinks, mainly glass bottles, metal cans and plastic bottles are used. Virtually all carbonated soft drinks were packaged in refillable glass bottles which were sealed with crown closures. In recent years, non returnable glass bottles have replaced refillable glass bottles in many markets and this frequently have a foam plastic protective label or a paper a polyolefin or all plastic shrink sleeve. In case of metal cans, three piece tin plate containers have been used for many years for the packaging of carbonated beverages. The highly corrosive nature of carbonated soft drinks demands complete protection of metal container from the product by the use of one or more coatings of an impermeable enamel system. Today, most carbonated beverages are packaged in two piece containers usually made from aluminum and although steel cans are used. Plastic bottles, the Coca Cola earlier launched a 950 ml nitrile bottle in uh, way back to 1975, but the release of toxicological data in 1977 showing that uh, acryl nitrile monomer could be carcinogenic at a high dosage and the residual monomer levels in the bottles were around 0 0.025 ppm, which led to the removal of nitrile bottle from the market. The traditional packaging material for beer is obviously the glass bottle sealed with a crown closure. Pasteurization of beer in the bottle after sealing is the most common means of securing microbiological stability. The aim is to heat the beer to a high enough temperature and hold it there long enough to destroy any beer spoilage organisms. When metal cans are used, a three piece tin plate cans were traditionally used for packaging of beer, which was later replaced by a three piece aluminum cans and then to two piece aluminum cans. A pull tab aluminum cans were also developed by Arnold France in 1962 and such cans are uh, still available in the market. Plastic bottles are also used for packaging of beer. In the case of beer, the PVC PVDC copolymer coated PET bottles for the packaging of beer commenced in early 1980s in the United Kingdom. The PVC PVDC copolymer coating is necessary to provide an acceptable barrier to oxidation and to prevent uh, flavor degradation in the beer. It also lowers the carbon dioxide permeability of the bottle. Again for wine glass bottle is the most common form of packaging used and uh, the bottle is sealed with a natural cork. The cork is the outer bark of the home oak which grows mainly in Spain. The oak is a tough light and elastic material and since many types of wines are damaged by sunlight, the bottles are usually of colored glass commonly dark green or brown or uh, we can say amber colored bottles and bottled wine is normally stored in the horizontal position so that the cork is kept moist and thereby providing a better barrier to the oxygen permeability and a tin capsule is used as a closure 
around cork. A flexible collapsible fully sealed bag made from one or more plies of synthetic films is also used. A closer and tubular spout through which the content are filled and dispensed and the rigid outer box or the container is used to carry the flexible pouch. And PVC, PVDC copolymer coated nylon and LDP laminate inside a fiber box is used as the first bag in box. Although there have been moves to other materials such as uh, triplex which means three ply has been used for the construction. The EVA copolymer PET and LDP with the PET being metallized can also be used. Plastic bottle is also used for the packaging of wine for generally 3 to 4 liter PET container with PVC PVDC copolymer layer is used for packaging of wine. Metal cans is also used in the case of uh, small quantities since 1960s in Europe using beverage cane made for aluminum or occasionally tin plate. When packaging uh, wines, it is necessary to increase the internal pressure in the cans by nitrogen injection in order to prevent collapse of the can body. So, friends, in this module, we have seen the packaging requirements for different uh, liquid products and the packaging materials used for the packaging of the fluid products. Thank you.